Yovalim, Jubilees 19. And in the first year of the first week, in the 42nd Jubilee, Avraham returned and dwelt opposite Hebron, that is Kirat Arba, two weeks of years. And in the first year of the third week of this Jubilee, the days of the life of Sarah were accomplished. And she died in Kevran. And Avraham went to mourn over her and bury her. And we tried him to see if his ruach were patient. And he were not indignant in the words of his mouth. And he was found patient in this and was not disturbed. For in patience of the ruach, he conversed with the children of Chet to the intent that they should give him a, him a place in which to bury his dead. And Yahuwah gave him grace before all who saw him. And he besought in gentleness the sons of Chet. And they gave him the land of the double cave over against Mamri, that is, Kevran, for 400 pieces of silver. And they besought him, saying, We shall give it to you for nothing. But he would not take it from their hands for nothing, for he gave the price of the place, the money in the full. And he bowed down before them twice. And after this, he buried his dead in the double cave. And all the days of the life of Sarah were 127 years, that is, two jubilees and four weeks and one year. These are the days of the years of the life of Sarah. This is the tenth trial wherewith Avraham was tried, and he was found faithful, patient in the Ruach. And he said not a single word regarding the rumor in the land how that Elohim had said that he would give it to him and to his seed after him. And he begged a place there to bury his dead, for he was found faithful and was recorded on the heavenly tablets as the friend of Elohim. And in the fourth year thereof, he took a woman for his son Yitzhak, and her name was Rivka, the daughter of Bethuel, and the son of Nekor, the brother of Avraham, the sister of Lavan, and daughter of Betuel. And Betuel was the son of Milka, who was the woman of Nekor, the brother of Avraham. And Avraham took to himself a third woman, and her name was Keturah, from among the daughters of his household servants, for Heger had died before Serah. And she bore him six sons, Zimram, and Yakshan, and Midan, and Midian, and Yishbak, and Shuak, in the two weeks of years. And in the sixth week, in the second year thereof, Rivka bore to Yitzhak two sons, Yaakov and Esau. And Yaakov was a smooth and upright man, and Esau was fierce, a man of the field, and hairy, and Yaakov dwelt in tents. And the youths grew, and Yaakov learned to write, but Esau did not learn, for he was a man of the field and a hunter, and he learned war, and all his deeds were fierce. And Avraham loved Yaakov, but Yitzhak loved Esau. And Avraham saw the deeds of Esau, and he knew that in Yaakov should his name and seed be called. And he called Rivka and gave commandment regarding Yaakov, for he knew that she too loved Yaakov much more than Esau. And he said unto her, My daughter, watch over my son Yaakov, for he shall be in my stead on the earth and for a blessing in the midst of the children of men, and for the glory of the whole seed of Shem. For I know that Yahuwah 
will choose him to be a people for possession unto himself above all peoples that are upon the face of the earth. And behold, Yitzhak, my son, loves Esau more than Yaakov, but I see that you truly love Yaakov and still further to your kindness to him. And let your eyes be upon him in love, for he shall be a blessing unto us on the earth from henceforth unto all generations of the earth. Let your hands be strong and let your heart rejoice in your son, Yaakov, for I have loved him far beyond all my sons. He shall be blessed forever and his seed shall fill the whole earth. If a man can number the sand of the earth, his seed also shall be numbered. And all the blessing wherewith Yahuwah has blessed me and my seed shall belong to Yaakov and his seed always. And in his seed shall my name be blessed. In the name of my fathers, Shem and Noach and Kanok and Mahalel and Enosh and Set and Adam, and these, rather, and these shall serve to lay the foundations of the heaven and to strengthen the earth and to renew all the luminaries which are in the firmament, rather firmament. And he called Yaakov before the eyes of Rivka, his mother, and kissed him and blessed him and said, Yaakov, my Yaqid, whom my soul loves, May Elohim bless you from above the firmament, and may he give you all the blessings wherewith he blessed Adam, and Kanok, and Noach, and Shem, and all the things of which he told me, and all the things which he promised to give me. May he cause to cleave to you and to your seed forever, according to the days of heaven above the earth. And the Ruach taught. Rather, and the Ruach Tot of Mastama shall not rule over you or over your seed to turn you from Yahuwah, who is your Elohim, from henceforth forever. And may Yahuwah Elohim be a father to you, and you the firstborn son, and to the people always. Go in peace, my son. And they both went forth together from Avraham. And, Ri and, Ri and Rivka loved Yaakov with all her heart and with all her soul, very much more than Esau. But Yitzhak loved Esau much more than Yaakov.